YouTube. I'm fucking filing back, man. Feels good to be back. I'm not gonna fucking lie. All right. So first things first. Scat pack outside. Nice and looking good. And today I'm just gonna go over a couple of things that I picked up for you know nothing big. No go fast mods. You know the one go fast mod that I did have in plan didn't quite fit my uh, leave schedule. And I wasn't going to wait around with no car for one to two weeks to get it installed. So, uh, and plus it's kind of pointless if I'm just planning on getting a Hellcat anyway. But there was hope originally for that Go Fast mod, but there's no point. So I'll stick to shit that, you know, is cosmetic. Uh, other than these, uh, just a couple of things. All right, let's go ahead and switch you guys around. Old person style. How you work this Hellcat, bro? Oh, dear Lord, I can't do it. All right, here we go. Alrighty, YouTube, what you're looking at here, I'll go ahead and move this back. It's a couple of the little things I picked up for the Scat Packer. Move this again. Alright, we're going to start off with these here floor mats, Husky Liners. Pretty expensive floor mats. Well, expensive by my means. More than what I would normally pay for some floor mats. But, because of my impending or impeding upcoming, we'll, we'll just keep it simple. Because of my upcoming duty location... You know, I just figured I would better invest in some decent floor mats that actually, you know, work worth a damn. Uh, I'm going to North Dakota Minot. Yeah, pray for me. And because uh, of all the snow, bad weather, you know, rain, yada, yada, yada. I, I'm, I plan on driving a car during the winter. Plain and simple. Like, I, I don't plan on keeping the garage a, a garage queen all winter. Like, I probably won't drive it all winter, but I do plan on driving it, you know, at least a couple of times. I am getting some snow tires when we get there, of course, because I'm not carrying them. But, um, yeah, just a interior mod that I think is going to help a lot. My last charger, my RT, I had the same floor mats I have now in there. And when I was in Missouri, it snowed. You know, you get in the car, snow falls off, it melts, and it just puddles and, and dirt, and it just gets uh, disgusting. So, this is definitely going to hold all that snow, all that dirt, and all that BS. Here's what the back one looks like. That's passenger side, and of course, driver, and other back one in there. I think these were 130, 140 something. Can't remember. Off of Amazon. Yep, also I'm recording on my phone, so don't judge me. Uh, the GoPro's outside, I was just too lazy to go back outside to get them. Alright, next up, a little another protection mod. We have here the Nova Stretch front bumper mass. Easy on, easy off. Here's your hardware for it. No, and the material actually feels pretty decent. A couple of reviews I read online said it was a... Uh, uh, pantyhose type of material is definitely not i don't know like what type of pantyhose they've been feeling or looking at but i've never seen any pantyhose that look or feel like this so yeah Pro not gonna put that on anytime soon well it's gonna be soon but not you know today so this is gonna be a project for the day right here so yeah probably gonna put this on you know closer to the time that i leave get ready to leave and yeah, I like it. I know it says 4A Challenger, as you see. It says 4 Challenger. Yep, 08 present Challengers. But a couple of reviews I read were from Charger owners. I asked a Charger owner on Instagram, SRT Chargem. Well, he's not even a Charger owner. He's a Magnum owner that has a front Charger cover. Whatever, whatever. Anyway, a couple of Charger owners said that they use this just fine, and it's for the Challenger, and it fits. So it's going to fit. Not worried about it. Next up, we're going to step to the Lux Auto Concepts Sunroof Decal. Let's get it unwrapped. Using one hand. Got it. There we go. Yeah. Big B. Yeah. Embrace it. All this glory. It's pretty dope. Uh, you go to Lux Auto Concepts. He has a couple of these. He has the flag by itself. He has the 392. He has the Hellcat, of course. That was like the first one, I think, that anyone even saw. Oops, I farted. Oops, it's still going. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, my inside's coming out. Anyway, but I got the B. I like the B. And then I think another one he has is the, like the 392. Pretty nice. I like it. Uh, I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks. I can't remember. I don't see a receipt anywhere. Don't care. Oh, well. Money well spent. I like it. Now I just gotta not fuck it up when I put it on. 
And also, it comes with, you know, everything you need. Your little squeegee, microfiber cloth, your cleaning application, uh, prep, and your little Lux Auto sticker for wherever you want to put it. And that's it for that. I'm going to put that on, you know, sometime after I get the car cleaned up. She is definitely not clean right now. And I don't plan on cleaning her this morning. I just don't feel like it. I'm not going to lie. Next up, another Lux Auto Concepts um, kit. This is the full tail light kit. I think it was 50 or 60 bucks. Can't remember. And as you can see, also comes with everything you need. Microfiber cloth. A cleaning solution. Another squeegee. And a little razor. Hmm. That's neat. This guy really thinks of everything. It's a pretty good product. Uh, pretty good company, actually. Uh, have the partial the, the inserts right now on the car I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that in a couple of other videos I write right now the inserts are up there but I guess I'm gonna have to remove them to put this on so we're probably gonna do like a tail light removal kit on that or something and if I somehow fuck this one up I have more inserts in another room in another box somewhere because I fucked around order too but that's it for that so, uh, yeah, well, I got a heat gun. I don't know if you guys care about that to put it on. Here's the heat gun. Well, this is, here it is. Here's the heat gun I bought so I can put this on. Not sure how useful it's going to be, but it's got good reviews. I don't know if you guys care about it, but this is the one I got. Anyway, so that's it for the little cosmetic goodies that I picked up for the Scat Packer. Like I said, no go fast mods unfortunately it just didn't fit my timeline and it really doesn't even fit the budget because there's no point to get it if i just plan on getting a hellcat like there's no point but you know for the, the, the remainder of the time that i have the scat pack i think this is a pretty good investment this is going to protect it across country this is going to protect it when i get to where i'm going and this is just going to help it look good going across the country. And when I get there, I do plan on making plenty of nice, you know, videos in North Dakota to see how the rear wheel drive 485 uh, headers and tuned scat pack holds up to this frigid North Dakota weather. So, yeah, there's a dress. Oh, look at the dress. It's the box for the Husky liners. That's it. all we got, guys. Gonna go outside and slap these in there, and I'll see you guys after they're already put in there. Yeah. Alrighty, two of you, we're back. This is what they look like put in the car. Yep, I know. I have to go vacuum this stuff up. I don't really like how this doesn't fit. And yeah, I left these floor mats up under here just because I don't feel like finding another place to put them. But uh, this is mostly just to see what they look like now. I, don't worry, I'll, I'll clean up under there. And I probably will take these out when we get to where we're going in North Dakota. But for right now, it's a good enough place for them. And I don't really like how like this is a thing. That's probably because, you know, these are under there. But for the most part, you see, covers a stupid third brake invisible pedal here goes all the way up behind the brake and the gas that's the driver's side here's the back no reason dirt should be anywhere this fits pretty good everything's covered come around to the passenger car. As you can see, all the way up. And see, I can I was able to tuck this one up under this plastic molding here. I was able to tuck that one. So I'm pretty sure once I get those floor mats from under there, it'll fit a little better. But I like them. I like them so far. Let's see what they do when they actually get put to the test. That's it for that. Alrighty, two of you. So that's it for the video. You know, you saw the little go fast mods, or not go fast mods, little cosmetic gods, mods. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. 
those little cosmetic mods that I'm going to be putting on the car. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you like what you see, you know, leave a like, subscribe. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I guess I'll be blind up before you guys get blind. Uh, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, just, you know, share the YouTube channel. Get it out there, please. Uh, if you want more, because I post to Instagram a lot more, I'll stop by my Instagram at low392slow. So yeah, that's it. Have a great day.